Hey guys, welcome back to Handmade Home. I'm Hester and today I thought I'd try a new craft and try soldering. If you've been following this channel for a while, you might know I rather like my Ryobi OnePlus tools. I love it that I can use one battery for all my tools and I don't need to be close to a plug, which is perfect because my shed, my workshop, doesn't have any electricity. So when Ryobi asked me if they can send me some tools for Christmas, of course I said yes, please. And there was one tool I particularly was keen on because I've never done any soldering. I've been building lots of things, I've been crafting, but I've never soldered anything. I grew up with soldering because my dad does a lot of electrical builds, so I know sort of how it works. And I think I got taught in school as well how to solder. But I thought maybe it would be fun if I can craft something nice using a soldering iron. And if you know me well, you know I like using materials I already have or I can find for free. So what I did, I went down to the beach to see if I can find some nice stones, some sea glass or maybe even some washed up pottery. Christmas packet was the soldering iron, the battery charger and battery and this really handy rotary tool which comes with all these little bits so you can do loads of different projects. I'm just going to put a few in the top here that I might be needing but I'm going to start with this little polishing wheel because I think I might give some of the stones a little bit of a polish. Okay let's go! So this was my beach find. I got some stones, got a bit of beach glass, some washed up pottery bits as well and a really pretty shell. I think I just might use a couple of these bits though. Other things you are going to need is something heat proof like this leftover towel. My little beach finds that are washed and dry. You need some solder. There are two different kinds we're going to come back on this later. You also going to need some flux. I'm using some cloth packs to hold my small pieces. You're going to need some pliers. And then things to make your necklace like chain, little hooks and um, little jump rings. Oh, and you also need the sticky back copper tape. I'm gonna leave a nice warm house. I'm gonna do the rest of this outside. I'm gonna start with a rotary tool. I'm gonna put off some of my safety gear, some mask, gloves, and a hat to keep warm. And I'm gonna use the battery that I'm gonna use on both of the tools. I'm gonna plug this in. I'm gonna see if I give the stones a little polish. I am going to use the red oxide compound that came with the rotary tool. I'm going to put it on the felt little um, pad I put on and see if I can polish the stone. Yeah, that didn't work. Uh, I don't know if it was the red oxide or it stained the stone. I don't know if it did anything wrong. Maybe let me know in the comments below. But I'm just going to use the stones the way they are and just forget about polishing them. Put that to the side. The rotary tool is an amazing tool though. I used it before um, in carving into a rolling pin to make nice patterns on a cookie roller. But yeah, you can also use them to carve up maybe in the stone here or in the glass. I'm definitely going to do something else with a rotary tool. But for now, we're going to take the battery out, leave it the way it is and just concentrate on the soldering. The first step is that you're going to wrap the sides of the item you want to solder, like my bits of pottery and sea glass, with the sticky back copper tape. You're going to peel back the backing and you're going to wrap it all around the sides. Make sure it's a really nice and smooth finish. And you use the copper tape because otherwise the solder doesn't have anywhere to attach itself to. So I've done one, let's do a few more. Step two that involves the soldering iron. I am going to use the flat tip that comes with the iron. Also comes with a pointy one. I think the flat is a bit easier for this. I'm going to switch it on. It's going to heat up nicely as you can see. And let's talk about the solder we're going to use. This solder has a core like an inside of resin. It's going to help the solder uh, apply a bit more smoothly. You can also use a normal solder, but then you need flux. Flux is something you're going to put on the outside off your piece to make sure the solder goes on nice and smooth. But first I'm going to try this solder and see how it goes. I'm 
gonna stick my piece in a cloth pack so I don't burn my fingers. Gonna apply some of the solder to your hot soldering iron. And then we're just gonna run it to the sides. And as you can see, it doesn't go on greatly. So even though it has the core of resin, I'm still gonna use some flux on the outside. So with a little cotton bud, I'm just gonna apply a tiny bit of the flux on the outside. And then we're gonna try again. And as you can see now, the solder goes on so much better, so much more smoothly. So we're just gonna keep applying the solder until all the copper tape is covered. And with that done, it's time to attach a little ring so you can hang the hanger. I'm just gonna pop it in my pliers, apply a tiny bit of flux to the ring and to where I'm gonna attach it. And then with your soldering iron and a little solder, you're just gonna attach the two together. First hanger done, let's make some more. You don't need to wear a mask when you solder. I just really can't stand the smell of solder, hence me wearing a mask. Do you look a little bit like a stormtrooper here though? The other hanger's done. From a bit of pottery and a lovely shell and some rock and a sea glass. So now all I need to do is assemble the necklaces. I'm using chain, some fasteners and a little um, jump ring. Turn out really cute. I love how I can make some jewelry out of something I just found on the beach. And I always look for bits of pottery and sea glass, but I think I'll definitely keep my eye on the ground a little bit more often now when I do my dog walks on the beach. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up because that really helps my video ratings. And have a look at all the other videos here on the Handmade Home channel. If you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe button too. And I really hope to see you soon on one of my new videos.